Hola, salam, and hello. What's up, everyone? So today, I have to tell you about this game I've recently gotten into, called Nuclear Throne. Okay, I say recently, but it's been about three to four months. Either way, this is a roguelike to try to reach, and you guessed it, the Nuclear Throne. It starts you off with two characters. And as you go further into the world, different characters will unlock. Each character has a different ability to help you make it to the throne. As you go through each unique generated room, you will notice these green rectangles your character picks up. These are called rads. When you fill the bottle to the top, you gain a level, allowing you to pick a boon to help you on your quest. These boons are only able to be obtained by the end of each stage, so make sure you pick your boons wisely. You do not want to be stuck with something that makes no difference as you go deeper into the game. Each enemy can drop different amounts of rads, and there will be these little containers you can find throughout each area that will reward you with a decent amount of rads as well. So keep an eye out, because you don't want to lose out on any levels. Nuclear Throne has several biomes that you go through with a boss waiting for your arrival. Each boss has a cool little intro showcasing the threat that you will face. They have their own style of fighting with different abilities at their disposal. Each boss are very good at understanding their surroundings and will not hold back on anyone who is not prepared. The boss I always found trouble with comes a little later in the game and let me tell you, if you don't have the right weapons or abilities, you are going to feel his wrath. The game has an amazing soundtrack with weapon noises, enemies dying, or just the music itself. I find myself even singing one of the songs when you first end up beating the first boss and entering the sewers. Each area has a different song, so when you have the time to play, I would love to know what song you end up liking the most. This game has several different weapons, and they use a variety of ammo. So, if you're worried that it might become repetitive, please don't be. The weapons in this game can use bullets, shotgun shells, arrows, explosives, and energy. And somehow, if you don't want any of those options, you can always pick up a martial weapon. This will help you find your style and favorite weapons in the game. Enemies can drop weapons, but you can also find weapons in specific chests. These will always have a random weapon inside, and it kind of reminds me of hitting the mystery box in Zombies. But let's just hope you actually get something good. I do recommend using new weapons, because you never know what you're going to find. Although this seems like a very straightforward game, there are several hidden things the developers have placed all over. Only accessible with specific weapons, timing, or even abilities. This can unlock a variety of things like stages, characters, and maybe even some cool weapons. But this is something you will have to find on your own. Nuclear Throne is a super fun game, and I recommend it to anyone. It is very easy to pick up, and it takes no time at all between rounds. It is great for moments in between other games, or other activities with how fast each round can be. Nuclear Throne can be found on these platforms for only $11.99. For those who have yet to play it, I recommend trying it out. Who knows, you might be able to uncover all the mysteries, or maybe even be the next one seated 
on the nuclear throne. I hope you enjoyed this video and are having a fantastic day. I love y'all, and I'll see you next time. Bye!